As 2023 begins, we want to look back at the fantastic achievements that Nether Games has accomplished. For starters, we are celebrating our 7th anniversary. Throughout these 7 years, we've experienced many different things as a server, including all of our staff members, current and resigned. We're always looking forward to the new things that have yet to come. We started this year by dropping our YouTube requirements from 5,000 to 1,000 subscribers and cancelling support for 1.16 due to technical limitations. However, in light of that, we announced the new Conquest game mode. In February and March, some new changes came to light. We started on 1.18.1 and released 52 maps spread over Bed Wars, Conquests, Sky Wars, Duels, Murder Mystery, and The Bridge. In the following month, we announced our opening of the game designer position. Then another role, the community manager. This position is currently unoccupied and most likely will be for a decent amount of time. Applications for both of these positions are currently closed, but we'll inform you when they reopen on our Discord server. During this same month, we changed the YouTube rank requirements again and opened it up to all Bedrock related content instead of the Nether Games only content we had before. Next, after a long wait, the newest and biggest lobby we've ever created was released. This lobby included zone exploration, mini games, and an unlockable elytra. Big thanks and congratulations to the builders on accomplishing such a huge task. We're now in July, and all credits were reset back to zero as a part of our annual credit reset. Along with this, we introduced our new store. This store saved payment methods for future purchases, introduced a gifting system, stats transfer and reset keys, and the ability to manage your Titan rank subscription. Later in the year, more was integrated into this new store. Three days later, new waiting lobbies for almost every game mode came to Nether Games. Another month passed and we made several changes to the rules. For example, we removed the 15 CPS rule in favour of a 15 CPS hard cap on the server. During August, Skywars got heavily revamped. This update contained new kits, new loot tables and a coin reset. During this same month, we made several changes to the portal. For example, we added daily new reports and a tracker for the total amount of hours you have played. In September, PvP will get enabled in UHC 6 minutes after the start of the game, and conquests only require 2 flags to win, rather than 3. Additionally, we made more portal changes, and people would finally get a reason why we rejected the YouTube application. To start October, we reset Skylock and made some quality of life improvements. These include the ability to select all maps in private games, the reorganization of portal menus, and the ability to see if we have punished a player on the API. At the end of October, we released our annual Halloween update. This update included a Halloween themed lobby, a pumpkin hunt, and a few reskinned maps to go with the Halloween theme. Also in the update was our first map rotation. To top it all off, if you purchased anything in the store that month, you would have gained a witch shopkeeper for bed walls and conquests. In November, our Cyber Monday slash Black Friday sale went live. During this time, India and Brazil could purchase with their local currency. Also during this time, our food shopkeeper pack went live to the store and included a banana, corn, ice cream and carrot. These shopkeepers are available in both Bed Wars and Conquests. We also made some other minor portal changes in game, such as touch players being able to throw fireballs by tapping on the air, and we replaced all pink team blocks in Bed Wars and Sky Wars from magenta to pink. Finally, it was December. This month started with a Christmas update that included a Christmas themed lobby, an exclusive cape cosmetic, and a present hunt. A few weeks later, we introduced PaySafe cards in our store. This edition allows customers to use physical cash to pay for ranks and other things in our online store. We also made a couple of small quality of life changes. For example, TNT and fireball jumping. A few days later, the snowman shopkeeper came to NG. This shopkeeper, like the witch shopkeeper, is exclusive to the event. You got the snowman shopkeeper if you purchased anything during our holiday sale. 
And that is our year over. There were so many game-changing updates that occurred this year. They were all diverse and didn't pertain to one thing, from Discord updates to web updates and to even game updates. We're looking forward to a new fantastic year with many changes that come with it. We are hosting a rank giveaway to celebrate everything that happened in the past year. And there will be one ultra rank, one emerald rank, and one legend rank up for offer. To enter, comment on this YouTube video stating your IGN and what you enjoyed most from this year. For now, the staff team wishes you all the best for 2023.